Well, I didn't really want to do this video. After all, videos after York, Nakad. We're going to learn today that the arbitration has been postponed. Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, hello everyone, welcome to NFTV. The thing is, right, whether the takeover goes through, whether the takeover fails, we could have had closure this week and we still can't even have that at the moment. It's been postponed now to early 20, well basically next year, possibly January, maybe February, we don't know. Because apparently there's not enough evidence, whether that's coming from Newcastle camp or it's coming from the Premier League camp. I know where I'm pointing the finger and that's the Premier League. You know, we've seen Amanda Stevely's already tweeted out tonight. He's already already pointing the finger that it's not from their side. So, look, uh, I think that, that that I'm pissed off about is closure. We can't even have closure. That's the thing, you know. If the let's just let's just say the takeover failed, right, and the news had come through that it's not going to happen. The positive to come out of that is that we'll have the closure. Just it's gone. We can forget about it. But because this has now been postponed for another six months almost, this is now going to be back in the background and it raises questions about a couple of things really. Are the Saudis going to stick around waiting that long? Are they going to wait until that long? Because if they start talking publicly, you know, the, the case isn't going to happen. And then the Premier League, you know, the corruption. W what's the evidence that they can't find if it is from them? Ah, <sighs> yeah. And the, the people who are making this decision, this arbitration, you know, the club already didn't want somebody on, on the board originally because they've worked with the Premier League in the past. It's just frustrating, man. We can't. And if we had the takeover, fantastic, you know. Um, arbitration goes through today and everyone's ecstatic and, you know, it might happen in the next few months the takeover actually does happen genuinely. The legal proceeds, etc., etc., etc. Newcastle have the takeover. In the short term, from the January, uh, from now to January, nothing would have changed really in terms of transfer business. Not really, because there would have been probably an embargo, I would have thought, potentially on transfers. But one man who's probably happy is Steve Bruce. Funny enough, because he keeps his job. He'll keep his job from, to, towards at least the end of the season, then he's out of contract, allegedly. Allegedly, I must stress. So, roll on the season, innit? That's how we can do it. It's, it's, it's frustrating as it is. It's as frustrating as it is. Doncaster on Friday night. Obviously, I was down York yesterday. Couldn't even score. Shocking. Appalling. At least there'll be a sellout this Friday night with all the Toon fans again. And Newcastle have got to score goals. They've got to score goals. Callum Wilson can just do on his own. But didn't get Joe Willock back in. Where's the goals coming from on this side? You can point the finger and say Alan St. Maximum's a fantastic player. Is he going to get you 10 goals? No, he's not. So we need goal scorers amongst this side. There's problems on and off the pitch with this takeover. And the club have obviously put out a very, very, very small statement. Because they cannot speak too much on it. So they just literally said that it's been postponed until January. Very short statement. Incredibly short, which surprises us. <sighs> yeah. Can't even have closure, man. Can't even have closure. This is going to rumble on now. And you know what it is? I'm sick of seeing people who talk shit. People who are in the know. People who claim to be in the know. Ooh, this has happened. Bollocks. Fucking bollocks to them. Bullshitters. The only people that know is literally the case of about seven or eight people who know about this arbitration and you're going to even still have the newspapers going on about it in the background oh this is happening this is happening radio stations we all know which ones going on about it look i admire the protest i do i admire the protest that people went down there you know there wasn't a huge great number but it, you know what they got off their asses and done something at least ah oh, just frustrated man i'm just really frustrated with it because we're now now what's coming now is that it's going to be in the back of everybody's mind and the bullshit reports that are going to come from people who are in the know, allegedly. Accounts like that in newspapers for the next six months. I just want a closure, man. It's done or it's not done. And now we've got to wait another fucking six months. And then we still have to wait. Are they going to stick around the Saudis, as I say from the top of this video? Let us know what you think. Ta-da.